Well, now we find ourselves in the serving cellar. This is where the beer will come once it's clarified. We carbonate it here. So what happens is the beer is finished fermenting up in the fermenter. We've either clarified it by finding it in the fermenter, or we're gonna filter it as we pump it down to these tanks. Once the clarified beer is in this tank, we will go ahead and add CO2 to it. And we do that using what we call a carbonation stone. Uh, this is a stainless steel rod. It has billions and billions of tiny holes in here. And those billions of holes pump out very tiny bubbles of CO2. And as the CO2 rushes into the beer and the, the tank pressurizes, the pressure builds in there, that CO2 literally dissolves into the beer. The bubbles go away and they become part of the liquid of the beer while it's all under pressure. And we see those CO2 bubbles come back to us as foam when we're pouring and when we're drinking the beer, we feel it on our palate, right? Uh, when it's time to actually serve the beer, once it's reached the appropriate level of carbonation, we will then attach a big line like this to the front of the tank, go ahead and open the tank, and this will route the beer around the room to our dispense manifold, where we will then direct the beer to all the different taps we have up at the bar.